Hi you all, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I have a new comforting recipe which is my wild rice chicken mushroom soup. It is so warm and comforting during this fall season. It's a fall fave in my household. All right, let's get started. I get started with some mushrooms, some chicken thighs, that's my favorite cut of meat, some wild rice blend, carrots, onion, celery, some garlic, rosemary, some heavy cream and chicken broth. We first get our mise en place together and that is by dicing our carrots, our celery and our onions and mincing our garlic. Oh, what is a soup without your carrots and your onions and your celery? I think that's just the base flavor for everything. Uh, that's pretty much amazing when it comes to cooking. It's just a staple of, of what your starter of your soup should be based on. This is my favorite garlic press. I have mentioned this in other videos and I'll tag it at the bottom of this video. I love pressing fresh garlic. It's much easier than dicing and it's my go-to for everything. Um, so now we get our chicken in a bowl. We get that seasoned up really nicely. First, I drizzle a little bit of olive oil, which is going to give us that nice coating on that chicken with the seasonings. I season with salt and pepper, Cajun seasoning, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and then some smoked paprika. I get a really nice amount on this chicken because this is going to season our pot and start our flavor building for this soup. Um, so I have the skin on for this chicken thigh. It can be skinless, it's your choice. I get that skin side down first that will render some of that fat and provide that flavor for the base of our soup. And I just let that go, get seared up nice and brown, give that a good flip. Probably seared it for about five to seven minutes. Sear it up on the other side again for about five to seven minutes. And you're not really gonna worry if it's not cooked all the way through in this process because you will be adding the chicken back in to the pot at the end with your soup and allowing it to cook a lot longer. I did cover it and let it sizzle in there and make that basically like a, a smothered method to pressure cook that chicken a little bit more when I did flip it over. And again, once removed, those same oils and that flavor at the bottom, our first layer of our flavor building for the soup, I add straight in there the onion, celery, and carrots. I did not add garlic in yet because we don't want our garlic to burn, so be mindful of that. We add in the garlic later. So we saute our veggies till they become well coated and start to soften, and then we get our mushroom added in and give that a nice good toss with our veggies here. And then that's when we're going to get our garlic added into the pot and let that aroma all build together. So now we have our chicken flavor, our onion, carrot, celery, garlic, and then mushrooms. So now we're going to add in our wild rice. This rice blend can be bought at any grocery store. I see it all the time. And it's a very nice, rich blend of a rice. I kind of get it toasted before I add in my broth just to bring out those aromas of the rice flavor. Then I add in my chicken broth and then my heavy cream. Mix that again pretty well. This is gonna be more of a creamy soup, so that cream plays a great angle in getting that flavor of that creaminess with this soup. I added a little bit more water, add as needed. I wanted my soup to be really soupy. If you don't, you can skip on adding water. It's totally your choice of how much liquid you want. Some people like their soups hearty. So people like their soup soupy. The more water you add, the more soupier it will be. So then as you see here, I added back in my chicken thighs and then right on top, I add in some herbs for this soup. I chose rosemary, goes great with that rustic flavor of this soup. I allowed it to boil for about 30 minutes. And then this is my outcome. It is so amazing. The flavors of the soup is so nice. It's very, very hearty as well. And so now I get ready to serve this. And so I just quickly grab a ramekin. You can serve it in a bowl, whichever your desires. Uh, just ladle in some of the soup. And um, 
yeah, get this served up and enjoy it on this nice rainy day we have here in California. And as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.